today is Monday. We are now in the 27th weeks in ordinary time. The church celebrates the memorial of Our Lady of the Rosary. Our mass reciter is Father Rufer Solis, SBD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. hearts who are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Um, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of the Rosary. This celebration honors the Virgin Mary in her role as Our Lady of the Rosary, a title that originated after the victory at Lepanto in 1571, Pope Pius V, who had called for prayers through the Rosary for the success of that particular battle, attributed the victory to the intercession of the Blessed Mother. To make ourselves less unworthy for this celebration, we pause for a moment and ask God's forgiveness for our sins. I confess to and Almighty to God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, in what I, I have done and in, in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through, through my fault, fault through, through my fault, fault through, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, and to all angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by His Passion on the Cross, be brought to the glory of His Resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, I am amazed that you are so quickly forsaken, the one who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel. But there are some who are disturbing you and wish to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we are for an angel from heaven, should preach to you a gospel 
other than the one that we preach to you. Let them not be accursed. As we have said before, and now I say again, if anyone preaches to you a gospel other than the one that you receive, let that one be accursed. Am I now carrying favor with human beings or God? Or am I seeking the please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a slave of Christ. Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel preached by me is not of human origin, or I did not receive it from a human being, nor was I taught it. But it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. The Lord will remember this covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. The work of His hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name, and praise endures forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. We honor the Holy Gospel. your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, a man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and give, gave them to the innkeepers with the instruction, take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? 
He answered, The one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, a lawyer asked Jesus, Who is my neighbor? And Jesus responds with the story of the Good Samaritan. A man beaten, and while religious leaders pass by him, a Samaritan, an outsider, someone considered unclean, stops, shows compassion, and take, takes care of the injured man. This parable is a lesson on what it means to love our neighbor. Not just in words, but in deeds. Mary, through her role as our mother and intercessor, shows us how to live out the gospel. When we pray the rosary, we reflect on the mystery of Christ's life, His birth, His suffering, His death, and resurrection through the eyes of our Blessed Mother, Mary. In doing so, Mary teaches us how to love, not just in sentiments, not just with our emotions, not just with our words, but in practical ways, in deeds, like the Good Samaritan in today's Gospel. Just as the Good Samaritan moved with mercy and compassion toward the wounded man, Mary is the compassionate mother who always reaches out to those who are spiritually and physically in need. In the Rosary, especially when we pray the sorrowful mystery, we enter into the heart of Mary, who witnessed her son's suffering with a heart full of love and compassion. The Rosary is a prayer of action. It's not merely words repeated, but a profound meditation on the mystery of salvation. Like the Good Samaritan, who actively engage in helping the injured man, the Rosary invites us to engage with Christ's life. As we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Rosary, and as we reflect on today's Gospel, it is not enough to know what is right. We must live it. We must practice it. The priest and the Levite in the Gospel knew the law, but their knowledge didn't lead to action. The Good Samaritan, however, acted with love. Mary, too, was a woman of action. When the angel Gabriel announced God's plan, Mary responded with her yes and became the mother of God. Through her life, she acted on her faith. She showed her faith in action from visiting her cousin Elizabeth to being at the foot of the cross. As we honor Mary today, let us ask for her intercession to help us live with the same compassion as the Good Samaritan in today's Gospel. And let us ask the grace to have that same willingness to act 
on God's word as she did. May the rosary shape us into people who not only pray, but live out the love of Christ in our family, in our community, and in the world. Let us pray to our Father, through the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary. We pray and say, Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. Fathers, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. That like Mary, the Church may ponder the mystery of God's life and love revealed in Christ in the events of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. That nations may turn their weapons of war and mass destruction into tools of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us through the prayers of the Virgin Mary. That in union with Mary, we may be constant in prayer and seeking to fulfill God's plan for our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us through the, the prayers of the Virgin Mary. That through Mary's motherly care, the sick and the sor- sorrowing may find healing and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us through, through the, the prayers, prayers of the Virgin, Virgin Mary. That the faithful depart- departed may enjoy the vision of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, bless us us through the the prayers prayers of the Virgin Virgin Mary. Mary. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the rosary and the message of peace that Mary brings to the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring, and so honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son, as to be made worthy of His promises, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day 
of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For the for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth in the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Holy, Holy, Holy God, who goes, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Onesto, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
as a community, as a family, we pray together the prayer that Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, ascend to your apostles' peace. I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that just as we proclaim this sacrament, the death and resurrection of your Son, so being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have celebrated, go, and announce the gospel. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Thank you. 